Hello, this is John Bowen, CEO of CED Worldwide, and I'm excited to bring this week's first word. It's two words. Listen deep. See, as financial advisors, most of us are left brain dominant, and we want to share you know, these great insights we have in helping our clients and our prospective clients. What we forget, particularly prospective clients, they want to 84% want to emotionally connect with us first before engaging us. And then once they've made that decision, then they justify it with logic. But no, we want to persuade them right away. Take a step back and listen deep. See, this is what the top coaching clients that we have, the to top financial advisors we have the privilege of coaching, they're able to do this very, very well. Now, there's a three-step process, and let me just go through the first two quickly, then I'm going to give you an illustration. Very first is we want to free our mind, and we want to prepare to have a great conversation and really to listen you know, well. And then we've got to listen on three levels. Now, if we look at this illustration, and let me blow this up for you. We start by preparing to listen deeply, and we, we go into that, you know, and, in freeing our mind is that we have this intention of having a great conversation. I want you to visualize it. Create the space for having it, but you know, internally, in your mind, as well as really the space itself. And start with a beginner's mind that, you know, one of the things, uh, particularly in our first meeting with a prospective client, we don't go in with a be beginner's mind. We pretty quickly judge a client and we're kind of starting to think of how we can solve their most pressing problems and so on before they've really shared where they are, where they want to go. So take that beginner's mind and listen to them. Now, we listen on three levels. Listening to yourself, listening to the context of the meeting, and then listening to the other person. Let's dive into each of those. As we go in uh, level one, listening to yourself, what we're talking about here is a couple of things. First is that we have to have that intent, openness, and non-judgmental attitude to have a great conversation. I mean, do you have that? You know, it's so often we walk in and we're pretty sure we, we already know how the meeting's gonna go and where it's gonna go. Are we fully present? You know, are there no distractions out there? You know, clients or prospective clients, they want our full attention. These are their most pressing financial challenges. It's a big deal to come to a financial advisor and make the time, you know, the, the effort and time and energy, pull that all together and to meet with you. And are you able to stay fully engaged without other thoughts intruding? These are, you know, if you're, you're gonna be as effective, you know, a great listener and listening deep, you've gotta do all this. And, are you aligned with the other person? Are you seeing his or her point of view? Or are you kind of focused on your track and just running it? So that's level one. You've got to have control of yourself. Level two is a context. And this is so important that it's, you know, around the entire conversation. I'm going to talk about what we call the discovery meeting, the very first meeting. And, you know, that's a open book because it's a new relationship. But, you know, depending on where you are, you know, at your office, at a cocktail party, a sporting event, and your history with another person, that's going to greatly influence the type of listening conversation you're going to have. So depending on the length of relationship as a client or prospective client, one of the mistakes we see is so many financial advisors or really individuals make references, uh, jokes, uh, comments that are out of context. And remember, when clients come to you, or prospective clients come to you, they're not coming for a friend, you know, find a new friend. Most affluent people have plenty of friends, but they don't have as a time to deal with their most pressing financial challenges. And sometimes they don't have the talent or the energy. They're coming to you to find an expert that can deal with those. So there's no reason to build the rapport in these meetings. Friendships might develop, and ideally they will long term, but that's not what they're looking for. Level three is all about the other person. And we're gonna begin by listening to the basic information about them. You know, we, we wanna hear their story. And it's a listening without getting caught up in the details. You know, it's not interrogation. It's, it's a fluid conversation. We wanna understand the information 
but the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions around it, particularly the values, the goals, the relationships, their major concerns and needs. Now, to be effective in all this, you have to have a real-time toolkit. And what we've found is one of the best is having a great interview guide. We ask our clients around seven major themes, values, and what's important about money to you, goals, what are you most proud of in the past, where are you going, going forward, relationships, one of the most important relationships you have in life, who do you love? Those are all emotional. Then we go to assets, the asset liability. As financial advisors, we want to dive into this right away. But then, you know, that's logical. We then also ask about advisors, the relationships with attorneys, accountants, uh, life insurance professionals, property casualty professionals, and also other financial advisors. Well, those are very logical. Then we ask about process. You know, what we find is 99% of the affluent clients that we've surveyed don't believe that their financial advisor has a compelling value proposition and process to address all their financial concerns. So we want to manage the expectations, get an understanding of the process they're looking for. And lastly, we're going to end the interview around questions about interest. What do they enjoy doing when they're not working? Creating that emotional connection. So those are the areas. That's a real-time toolkit. So whatever your toolkit is, create structure with inter great interview guides, agenda. Don't go in unprepared because what happens is if we're going to listen deep and emotionally connect with our clients, we can't leave it for chance. Your clients, your future clients, and your future strategic alliances are counting on you. Don't let them down. Mm -hmm.